hi, this is Diana, and I'm here to recap X Factor's top 32 singers, uh, performers, whatever you want to call them. There are a few that I think are going to be shining stars, and I'd like to go over who I think is going to be um, a person of interest in the show as it goes along. So here we have Caitlin Koch. Her performance was pretty good, and... Um, you know, it was it was good. Um, my interesting person, one of them is Drew Winewitz, Wine whatever her name is. Okay, Drew, W-R-W, -W, whatever. Okay, Drew. She's 14 years old. The show opens up with her doing the, oh, Justin Bieber fever, I'm so gaga over this guy. And she really looks like it's a setup for failure, you know, and it's editing of the show. We understand it. They didn't go back to her house and edit it until she made the show. So she comes out, and you, your expectations of this girl are nothing. She's kind of awkward looking, not really um, all there with the editing of the Bieber fever, and I'm so gaga over Justin Bieber, and so you're expecting some hip-hop tragedy to unplay on national television and then she goes and shows them how it's done now it either takes an extreme amount of knowledge about music and your ability or an extreme amount of audacity to arrange an L.A. Reid song sung by Justin Bieber in a way that is unrecognizable and 20 times better. She turned that hip-hop disaster of a song into something I liked and I would listen to, and I didn't even recognize it being baby, 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 oh, baby. Anyhow, it was great. She schooled L.A. Reid in how to arrange that song. She did a great job, and, and when she comes off stage, you can tell that she's far more intelligent than the... Um, segment leading up to her singing. That was just a total setup having her play the goofy, stupid 14-year-old girl who's in love with Justin Bieber. This is clearly a girl who has hidden talents that we haven't seen yet and is fairly grounded. <clears throat> Jaslyn Little, 16-year-old, very, um, very shy, very grounded, um, very mature and um, subdued for her age but she has a voice she has an amazing voice and when she's on stage she's pretty darn amazing in presentation so she's one of the ones I think you should watch for Rachel Crow Rachel Crow's a cutie she kind of reminds me of a spunky little uh, modern day Shirley Temple look at her go back and watch the video which I'll post in the the um, article and watch her. She's a modern day Shirley Temple if there ever was one. Cute as a button, can sing. The thing about girls that age is they have to sing songs that are appropriate for their age group and that's hard to do, especially with a voice like hers. She's got a very soulful voice. So finding soulful music for a girl that age is kind of hard to do. The other one is Melanie Amaro. Fabulous singer. Very, very good and um, extremely talented vocalist and very sweet and demure in her um, personality. Just very likable. Very likable girl. Those are the ones I think you should watch in the girls. Though, um, And the thing is, Simon is going to be coaching the girls. He will cut the eight down to four himself. My guess is those four will be at the top of the list. That's my guess. <clears throat> now, in the boys, the boys, L.A. Reid has the boys, and I can see why L.A. has them, because there is not really a great vocalist among them. There's, um, which one is it? Uh, one of them is a, a vocalist who was a previous singer in, in bands across the country, and the thing is, he just is so arrogant. He's arrogant about his modeling looks and his voice. He's got a decent voice, but they're not really a singing group of guys. They are hip-hop, rap artists, and talented. Now, the one to watch is Chris Rennie. A, he has a story that is amazing. He um, And he's got a very sweet spirit. For someone who has been through what he's been through, he's got a, a, a sweet spirit and a kindness about him. And this is his second chance in life to start over clean. He's a drug 
he's really rehabilitated from drugs and he wrote a song about it and he came out and he killed it and he made it through the next round he's got a lot of fan support already um and then marcus canty and nick voss um Nick Voss has he's the one with the hair cut into the side. He's he's a different kind of vocalist, a little bit of rap, a little bit of singing. It's um he did an Elvis type of song and he's a he's a performer. Uh, I would see him in something like in in Las Vegas more than I would see him around the country selling out sold out audiences. Um <clears throat> groups in the groups there are very few choices here in my opinion. Of ones that will make it any very far. Illusion Confusion did not make the show, but there are YouTube videos out there that were taken from people in the audience, and they weren't cleared for the show in time for it to make the audience. I don't know if they had um, contract issues or whatever, but they couldn't be shown on the X Factor, and they're going to surprise you when you see them. The Brewer Boys, 13 year old and 17 year old brothers, they have the hair swept down great harmonies great sound different sound and um, they're very good for sure is a group of four young men who are very much um, you know boys to men reincarnated good vocals good harmonies and um, they have one guy that kind of leads the audience to join in and, and speaking you know everybody clap your hands that kind of thing and so those are some of the chip picks for the groups over 30s now this group is interesting because it has a lot of duds in it but it has a few amazing people who are going to be shining stars um josh krojic is a burrito maker in columbus ohio and he is he's unique and um there's just something about him that gets people to like him he's a good vocalist <coughs> Pardon me. And then there's Stacy Francis. And Stacy's story is that she's a 42 year old single mom of a five year old and a three month old. A, I give her props right there because I'm 43 and I can't even think about starting over. Can't. Won't. Don't want to go there. Anyhow, she said that in her 20s and 30s, she had a boyfriend who constantly told her how she wasn't going to make it she wasn't good she was um not worth it and she started to believe him she indicates that he kind of pushed her around i don't think she went straight into the whole he abused me thing but it was pretty clear that he held her back and suppressed her and made her believe that she just wasn't worth it and nobody would else would find value in her typical abuser style is to tell the person that nobody finds value in them and therefore they're stuck with it, them you know so anyhow she's in her 40s she's hitting her stride and she comes out and sings the natural woman now you know that somebody's good when simon cowell stands up and applauds that doesn't happen very often at all i mean he'll do the whole arms over the head clapping it is extremely rare for him to do a standing ovation and so her I think she's going to go very far, um, and those are the picks. Now, I, in the article, I have all of the 32 remaining people. Um, there was something I was going to say, and now I've forgotten. Oh, well. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure I could get it back, but I'm going to lose it now. I think the girls are the group to watch. I think the they have more vocalists in them. They're stronger vocalists. And that's where the real competition is, in my opinion. And by girls, I'm including um, Stacy, who's in the over 30 crowd. But the vocalists are clearly the women this, this year. Um, there's another one in the over 30 is Krista Collins. Very unique look to her. Um, she's got a she's going to have a segment of the audience that is just funky and hip for her age um, she's just very very unique so those are the ones I think you should watch and those are my opinions as with everything I share my opinions you may not agree with me feel free to tweet me at Diana Watt and let me know how you feel and where you think I'm wrong because I'm wrong a lot have a good one bye